What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. Looks like we're making another house call today. You guys will recognize uh, the old Kiki bus from uh, whoa, from like last year, I think it was. We did a bunch of uh, metal work on there, put some panels on the sides, did the floors, did the the nose scan, all that good stuff. And uh, today. Well, not today. A little while ago, he went and built himself a brand new motor. Boom! Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a 1835 or something. I don't know. When he gets back out here, we'll ask him what all is in there. But super nice motor. Uh, but we're going to do some tuning. Uh, we got to tune these HPMX carbs for him over here. Uh, we're going to set the timing of this trusty vintage Sun Pro timing light. Uh, it's got a little tack mounted in the engine bay that's kind of a cool little idea and then the <laughs> he took my idea of the oil pressure gauge on there looks pretty good though um i can already tell we're gonna have to do something with that coil because it's mounted in the back of the alternator and the uh, distributor uh and we got some tin missing but i think it's over here on the floor so we'll just get everything tuned up and adjusted today and uh hopefully can make it run really really good oh look at there look who it is hey he's that guy kiki is the kiki guy <laughs> in his beautiful palatial miami style backyard with uh another bus but don't look at that that's secret that's for later <laughs> so uh we're gonna we're gonna tune this thing so let's get it warmed up and then we'll get to tuning All right, so now you're here. What is that? That's uh, I don't know if it's a 1835 or 1776, but it got a 74 stroker. It has a 110 cam, and it got 87 pistons on it. So, and two Weber's. So hopefully. 40s so hopefully say it just i just wanted a little more power in the bus and here we are it just came out of scratch i started building it like six months ago and that's the final result and it's all new it's all new from the inside out everything is brand new in it the only thing that is not brand new is the block itself everything else i bought everything brand new on it so I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a good sound and it's gonna work pretty much what I was looking for. So we just have to tune in this carve, that's why you're here, and make this thing alive. Okay, so we got the carbs disconnected from the linkage like we always do. Um, we got the uh, air screws adjusted, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out until we get to where, you know, they're all pretty even. So just a little bit of a turn, it'll drop down and then a little bit of a turn back and it'll come up uh, on all four. And we kind of do a crisscross, you know, one, four, three, two as the firing order goes. That's usually how I adjust them. So it's running really nice, it's running really smooth. Um, it accelerates or, you know, it revs up pretty nice. Even though the carbs aren't connected, we just whap it, you know, at the same time and it's good. So once that linkage is dialed in, uh, we know we got a nice balance set up there. I tune them by ear. I don't use the little snaily meter because it's kind of a pain in the ass when it's in the bus. They don't really fit, uh, but it's not popping. Uh, you know, I can make it pop if I throw one out. 
and bring it right back and it doesn't pop on acceleration on deceleration at idle at full open throttle it's not popping so we're good there i'm gonna check the timing one more time just to make sure that at full wide open we got it but before we do that we got to set up this linkage you've seen me do the tuning of the carbs a million times but i have not showed you how to set up the hex bar linkage and it's really really easy uh, so we'll do that now show you real quick how to make the adjustments and then uh, we'll check the timing we'll take it for a ride we'll have fun okay these hex bar linkages are super easy to adjust uh, first you want to make sure that you don't you know you don't have too much side to side slop here uh, right back here on either side and you have to have the little teflon cups in here and there's a ball on this side and then there's a little spring that sits in there so you want to make sure that this doesn't have any play left to right and you want to make sure that when you put the the center piece here on that it's directly in line with your throttle cable um, so that's the first adjustment you need to make is make sure that this is tight left to right which you can you can turn these nuts here and adjust the the width of this bar to fit your different motor um, and then you want these to be adjusted and I've heard this two three different ways you know it's either as straight up and down as you can get them which is how I like it uh, because it looks good and also it gives you a straight down push when you push this it pushes this straight down uh, I've seen like I think Dean is doing the uh, Daryl Batone's bug and his are kinked in a little bit so he's got these pushed a little out and these are kind of a little bit over like like at an angle here and that way when it goes through its motion it kind of pivots on these hind joints I don't really like that uh, there's probably a performance reason for it he was a lot smarter at setting these up than I am but this has always worked for me <laughs> you know what I mean so we're gonna put these in here and we want to make this just right let's see we got an uneven head here it's important that this amount of threads and this amount of threads is the same and that that can go in there without binding uh, and without drawing this down when you put it on
Okay, I drove it. Drives okay. It could drive better. We're gonna play with some jets and some clutch adjustments. Um, see if we can get it to go a little bit better and uh, if we can get some more adjustment out of those carbs with the better jets in there. You happy so far? I'm great and super happy. Oh. At least it's running. It runs, runs and good. It's coming back. It's, it, it's, it we're sounds, gonna get some jets and make it work. Sounds nice. It runs nice and smooth. It doesn't shake. It barely pops. I think, you know, a little bit more dial in and I think we got it, but it, the weather's looking not so good. So we're gonna, we're gonna play with it a little bit next week when we get some parts. So for now, we're good. So we're gonna get you a t-shirt, uh, Teespring link down below. Visit all the friends. And then uh, what else? Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.